Hey folks, welcome back. Today I'm going to be starting on some soundproofing for the van. This van has a 7.3 diesel and it is so loud when I'm driving that I can't even have conversation if I have a passenger and that's pretty unfortunate for long trips. So I'm going to work on some soundproofing. Now I'm sure if you've been thinking about doing this, you've seen videos of people putting kill mat or other butyl tape products onto the entire inside of their van. And while that may have worked for them, it's a lot of weight for not a lot of benefit. So I'm going to be using kill mat in places. I'm also going to be using some 10 mil closed cell foam that's peel and stick with foil on the one side. And that should, that combination uh, should do a better job of absorbing sound without adding too much weight to the van, especially up high in the high top. To start off, I'm going to clean out the cab of the van. I'm going to take out the seats take up the flooring, fix any rust, put some rust blocking paint down, and then we'll do some kill mat and some foam, and we'll work specifically on the engine bay to isolate as much sound as we can, and then I'll go backwards from there on the van. So stick around and I'll show you how it goes. So first step, I just got to clear up all of the seats and flooring in the cabin. I'm walking circles, stuck in the loop. I'm moving target, just hit me like a charm. Showing you what I found when I got the seats up. Things look pretty good under here. We've got some rust on the driver's side. Nothing that's going deep into the frame or into the floor. So I'm just gonna clean that up with a wire brush and then we'll get some rust cutter on it. Passenger side looks pretty good. Something I was interested to note is there is no under padding. So someone has taken this up before and removed that padding. And that's probably one of the reasons this van is so loud. My last van had a, about a half an inch of felt underneath. So it'd be good to get something back in there. Got all the rust wire brushed, things are cleaned up. And now I'm gonna use a little rust cutter. I'm just gonna paint that on with a brush and let that sit for a day. And then I'll come back and wire brush it again and see if we need to do a second application. It's been 24 hours since I applied the rust cutter and it has done a good job of cleaning up the rust on the few areas that had some. I've got it all wiped down, rinsed with a little bit of baking soda and then a bunch of clean water. I did one soapy rinse. And now I'm gonna run some degreaser over everything else and that'll prep for paint. So I'm just giving things a spray down with some rusty metal primer. I've got all the rusted spots primed. I'm gonna give this a uh, half an hour, 45 minutes to dry. All right, I'm gonna top coat this with some enamel just to protect it. I'm gonna let it dry overnight. All painted up. We'll let that dry and put down some soundproofing. The paint's all dry and now it's time to put down some kill mat. So I got two boxes of 80 mil kill mat. This stuff is butyl sheet and it's heavy. It's really heavy and it's basically a sound deadener. It doesn't really absorb sound. It just uh, changes the frequency. So this stuff, some folks will put it wall to wall over their van and that honestly just adds a lot of weight because this isn't a sound absorbing material. It just changes the pitch and deadens this loud dinging sound that you get when you have road noise. So I'm gonna put a good bit of this under the cab just because it is the most sensitive area. Um, and then on the walls, I'm just gonna do pieces of it and I'm gonna cover the rest with a uh, thicker foam insulation that should do a better job of sound deadening. So we'll get some kill mat put down. This stuff, uh, it's peel and stick, and then you hit it with a roller to get these bumps out of, uh, out of the material, and that shows you that it's complete. So here I've got the first piece stuck. Just smooth that out. 
and then I'll hit it with this roller and that pops down all those raised pieces and make sure we got a good seal. And then I'm just gonna fill in and make sure I got reasonable coverage, avoiding things like the bolt holes for the seat. And when I'm resting, I see them lurking. They shine me waiting to hit me like a charm. I call it perfect timing I'm not lazy, I'm not late Call it perfect timing I'm stressed, not in a rush All expensive diamonds Take time, you're not that right Call it perfect timing Well, I've got the floor all kill matted. I just have to finish rolling it out. I can totally see why people put this stuff wall to wall. It is so satisfying spreading this stuff out. I'll show you how it came out here. Yeah, it's really easy to put this stuff on. Even in the cold, it sticks really well. Helps that I had a super clean surface. And you can see I didn't try to get every perfect little spot and I definitely left the bolts sticking up through so I can bolt the seats back down. So I'll just roll this out and move on to the next step. All right, now that I got everything kill matted, I'm gonna use this foam. I got 30 rolls of it. They came individually shipped like this from China. And what this is, it's a 10 millimeter foam, uh, peel and stick on one side and foil on the other. So I'm gonna do this stuff liberally. And this is gonna go over the whole inside of the van and the topper. Hopefully this sucks up some sound. Got the insulation all laid on top of the kill mat, and now I'm gonna put the flooring back in. Got the van all put back together, and it sounds good. It's not silent, but I think it'll be better to carry conversation. Now I just need to do some on the walls and in the topper. Day two, I'm back at it. A little more kill mat on the van. So as you can see here, what I'm doing is just deadening down these large panels so that the resonance changes and I'm going a little heavier on the wheel wells. I'm going to cover these with insulation, but you can see here the sound versus a panel with no so it just lowers the frequency a bit All right, moving on to the last piece. I am doing the soundproofing foam. So you see I've done the fuel fill here and I'm prepping to do this wheel well. So I've got it all kill matted and now I've got this 10 mil foam that I am putting over the top. So just measuring and then I'll cut that to shape and stick it. Oh, I've got that wheel well all covered. So it's kill matted and insulated. Hopefully things are a little quieter going forward. All right, so I have finished insulating and soundproofing the cab, and here we are at idle, and it is much quieter in the van than before. It's not silent, but it sounds a lot better. We're about to get on the highway. I'll give you a sense for what it sounds like when we're driving at highway speed. Hopefully it's a little quieter. As you can tell, it's pretty loud in here. Carpeting the floor and putting in insulation quieted it down a lot. Here we are going at highway speed, uh, I'm going 55 miles an hour, and the van is, it's a good bit quieter, like you can carry on conversation, you still have to raise your voice a little bit, but it's not that much louder than uh, other vehicles. So I'm pretty happy with the result, Let's see what happens when I step on the gas. 
Yeah, the engine noise has definitely quieted down. There's still a good bit of road noise and cab noise, and a lot of things that jostle around with the van, so we'll still do some more work on soundproofing, but overall, I think we're in pretty good shape. It's still a big, loud diesel van, but a lot more comfortable than before. Next up, I'll be continuing the interior build, framing, insulating, and installing a diesel heater. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button if you found this useful and subscribe to the channel for all the updates. <laughs>